Good morning world. In keeping with the update of our Breaking Through Infinity series, today we're talking about five elements of gold or um, five characteristics. The first three, of course, are the regular five characteristics that we're familiar with. And of course, you know, I had to add two more because I have a thing with five, right? First is that a goal must be clear. It, may, it needs to be so clear that if you tell me what your goal is and then you go out there and you tell 50 other people, all 51 of us should understand the goal to mean the same thing. It's the, it's the difference between saying I want to be healthy, whereas I think healthy meaning you want to start running marathons and someone else thinks that you mean that you want to uh, I don't know, lose 20 pounds and another person thinks that healthy meaning when you say you want to be healthy, you mean that you want to get off medication. It is, it, all of these could be a goal, but be, because you're not clear, because, because the goal is not clear, different people per, um, perceive it differently. And of course, when you, if, if, if the goal is so unclear that others are perceiving it differently, it probably does not give you the resources that you need to be able to, um, to know yourself exactly what it is that you're working on and what steps you should be taking and of course that's where we get into specificity a goal has to be specific it needs to be a particular thing you know hey this is the change that I want to make this is the area and this is what I want to change in that particular area um, a lot of times we have people set goals that are so broad that it makes it difficult for them to know, hey, this is, these are the steps that I need to take. But when you have a specific goal, specific goals have specific actions that you take in order to achieve them. So the goal needs to be very specific. It's the difference between saying, hey, I want to um, I want to make a change at work. I want to I want to change the path of my career, whereas a change in your career could mean you get a different a different position in another department. Maybe you make a little bit more money. Maybe you make the same thing versus you want a change into being going from an employee in your department to being the head of the department. Both of those can mean uh, can be uh, can be seen from someone saying I want to make a change. And finally, a goal has to be measurable. That's the last characteristic of a goal. It has to be measurable. You need to be able to see where you start and then from where you start, you also need to be able to know to where you are going to end up. You see that there's a starting point, there's an end point, you see the change, you see the, diff the different steps, the different increments, the different changes that have gone over time so that you are able to know, okay, yes, this is the goal, this is where I'm starting. And when you get to the end, you know, Oh, okay, I have actually met my goal. This is the end of it. I have met, I, um, it needs to have some type of measure, some type of way of measuring where you are, where you, where you are along starting, where you are as you progress. And of course, where you are when you come to the end of it. And the other parts of the other elements of a goal that I believe are important is that a goal also needs to be personal. A lot of times people set goals based on what other people, based on what society, based on whomever, for, what, for whatever reason. A goal needs to be personal. It needs to be something that has a per, uh, an actual personal meaning to you. Yes, everyone, a lot of times you go out, especially around New Year's, everyone's trying to lose weight. But if everyone else is trying to lose weight and I'm comfortable with my weight, having a weight loss goal is not going to make a difference for me. But of course, I like muscles. So building muscles would be a great goal for me because I like the look of muscles. So it has to be personal. And of course, it has to be desired. It, there's a difference between something being personal versus something being desired because yes, I like muscles, but half the time I do not want to do the work that is required. I don't want to give up my cookies. So and if I can't give up cookies, then it makes it different for, to have muscles in certain areas. It has to be desired enough that you're willing to do what it takes. So it, that that's the difference between personal as in it has a special meaning to you, but desired as in you want it enough that you're willing to do what it takes to get it. Quick recap. A goal needs to be clear so that if you tell it to one person or any and then you tell it to 50 more people, all 51 understand it the same way. It needs to be specific because specific tasks has specific actions or specific goals have specific actions that are required to meet them. It also needs to be measurable because you want to be able to see where you start, where you are as you go along. And of course, you need to be able to understand when you get to the end. It also needs to be personal because if it does not have special meaning to you, if it's not personal, it makes it not, it's not as easy to work on. 
And finally, it needs to be desired. You need to want it and want it enough to make the to make the investment in achieving it. And of course, that's all we have for today. Good morning, world. Have an awesome day.